Hello everyone, welcome to a Kerbal Space Program tutorial where today I'm going to be showing you how to make a simple uh, space missile, so a missile in space that destroys another ship. So to start off, you're going to get this uh, the small pro core uh, of the uh, small diameter, I don't actually know what diameter, but yeah, the small one. And uh, you're going to get two batteries because this thing does need quite a lot of battery life because you know it might be flying for a good while and it needs to keep control. Uh, next, you're going to want to get some uh, fuel tanks, the Oscar B ones. The, these are the only really uh, small diameter ones in the stock game. I do have some more, but I'm pretty sure they're modded. I can't remember, to be fair. Uh, so three of these, and if you're going to be attaching this to a larger ship, make sure you turn these off, so stop it from being able to deliver fuel from these tanks. The reason for that is because if this is on a larger ship with RCS, the RCS will drain fuel from these tanks, which obviously you don't want. So if you're putting this on a larger ship, make sure you turn that off. Then you want to get a reaction wheel, and you want these to be as far away from the center of mass so that they can have uh, the most effect with the lowest electric charge. Next, you want to get uh, with this spark, a uh, small engine, just the smallest one. And uh, I'm going to get four more of these radially, radially attached, uh, because you know acceleration is pretty key for missiles, aren't they? So yeah, get four of these, and we can just push these down into there, line them up. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Now we are going to make the warhead. So obviously there aren't any explosive material in Kerbal Space Program, but there are parts that will survive a greater impact tolerance than the part that you're hitting, which is how you make missiles. And uh, so we're going to get two of these radially attached holding tanks, and we can, we can put them um, at a half or volume, like that. And the reason you need to is because the center of mass of these is not directly in the middle, which is annoying. Uh, so for aesthetic reasons, I'm going to get two of these and you can just uh, line them up in the middle there like that. That looks good. And I'm only setting these to half or just because these are part clips. So if we put them at half capacity, then I guess that makes up for it or something. <laughs> uh, now you're going to want to put another reaction wheel and push that all the way out to the end there. And uh, that's going to, once again, quite far away from the center of mass. So that's going to help us out quite a lot. And then we're going to get one of these and these have a very high impact tolerance these are these are really good parts so yeah that will be able to survive quite the impact so get one of those on the circular and now we're going to get four of these and we're going to angle these now that this also really helps with our penetrative power so um get four of these and mm, you can line them up however you like really it doesn't overly affect anything but as long as as long as you've uh, got them there they they should really help with uh destroying your enemy craft. Now that's the uh, warhead all done and now you want to get two of these octagonal struts and you're going to put them on either side just like that and one all the way down the end here. And the reason for this is because the missile does wobble quite a lot. I really don't know why it shouldn't. You can turn on auto strut and everything but I find that this is just the easiest solution to just have these octagonal struts here. And yes it is part clipping but uh, I think it's justified because really this shouldn't wobble. So I, I think it's a justified part clip. And now, the this is probably the most important bit, that you're going to turn on the center of mass indicator, which is just down here, bottom left, and you'll want to get uh, four of these Verna engines and uh, place those directly on the center of mass. Now, I'm pretty sure that it doesn't actually come out of this thrust a bit here. I'm pretty sure it comes out the middle from my experience. So yeah, uh, get four of these and just uh, whack them on there. Yeah, that looks good. And um, now the reason for this is because obviously there is no air in space. You cannot use fins to align yourself. And any radial movement is not counted out by air resistance. So if you're moving just a little bit to the left, then you're going to carry on moving to the left and you're going to miss your target. So all of that movement needs to be counted out by the use of these RCS thrusters here. So that, that's very important. You need to make sure that you've got those down there. So uh, now we can... Uh, back on a uh, decoupler at the end here and I'm going to turn off um, the shroud of that and get some more struts just like that good enough and uh, that is your missile complete that, that, that should do it for a, a light missile and you can fit lots of these on a very small ship so these are, these are quite good missiles these and uh, I will give you an example on how to fire these 
So we have our missile here and a target 2.2 kilometers away, just so it's uh, still inside the load limit. And um, you're going to want to point to the target. I hope that should be uh, obvious to everyone. But yeah, point towards the target, and now we can get rid of that decoupler and deploy our engines or activate our engines. So next, you want to burn very slowly at the beginning, just uh, maybe like 5 meters per second or 3 meters per second, doesn't really matter. And now you're going to use RCS and the IJKL buttons to push that prograde marker just over your target marker. And you can turn on caps lock as well, and just to get a bit more precision with your uh, movement there. And that looks good enough about there, yeah, that, that should be fine. And now you can go full throttle towards the target. Now um, make sure you leave yourself some fuel after you've uh, done accelerating to make those small changes. So uh, I'm going to stop it about now and continue to use that IJKL to just line up your shot. And there we go, you can see how much damage we've done. And you will have to let it load, it's uh, quite laggy, but of course it would be. completely shredded the insides of this craft here. You can see lots of the uh, parts inside have been destroyed, which is weird. It must have gone through the outside armor and hit the inside. Now if, we, if we'd uh, fast warp, all of that will just float out of the side of it. <laughs> and there, there you can see. So yeah, I would say that's a successful hit from a light missile. Not loads of damage. Uh, but it's certainly done its job, especially when you consider that a craft like this can hold quite a lot of those. There's a six in there, and a one heavy to torpedo there. Uh, a torpedo like that would just destroy this craft. We'd have nothing left. So yeah, that's the tutorial done. I would like to say thank you to um, everyone subscribing. I don't know how I've managed to get like almost a thousand now. I think I'm at like 996 at the time of recording. That's that's insane. Thank you guys. Uh, yeah, I know it's kind of cringe when YouTubers say that, and I I have become the cringe. But thanks, much appreciated. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time.